Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everybody. It's me Dr. Ija. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the synopsis for your course. So first of all, of course, you need to go to elearning.usm.my where you need to log in and it will bring you to your dashboard with a list of your courses for semester 1 and semester 2. Let's say uh, for this semester, I wanted to add a synopsis for my course of PMC 500 Statistical Reasoning in Educational Research. So it will bring you to this um, page where of course you need to turn editing on first before you edit all the information or you want to add information to your page. So in this case, I want to add information to the general part of my course page. So you need to go to edit and then click edit section it will bring you to this page uh, the summary of general so you can click on custom if you wish to change the uh, section name so let's say i want to change it into welcome to pmc 500 so at the at the summary part what you need to do is just you go to your lesson plan or your rp you copy the synopsis of your course, okay, and then you just paste it at the box given under the summary part. So if you think it is too small, you can make it bigger, you can enlarge it, okay, make it large, and also you can bold it. Okay, and even change the color to whichever color that you want. So let's say I want to change it into blue. And you can also add image into your um, summary of general. Okay, so what you can do is that you can go to this button. Right, you can insert or edit image. Okay, browse repositories and choose files. So let's say my file is under download. Okay, I already downloaded one image for my course. So after I've chosen the file, you can click upload this file. So this is the image. So you can take this image is decorative only. Right, if you wish to describe the image, you can do so. But in this case, I don't want to describe the image. So, um, you can even uh, tick auto size. So, it will automatically show the size that have been set up by Moodle. And let's say I just leave it by default and save image. If you think it's too small, what you can do is that you can change it let's say i'm going to change it into 600 double of the size so automatically it will auto size it will calculate for you and save image so this is the size and i think it is okay so i'm going to click save changes so there you are on the at the top of your course you will can see that you have changed the general part of your course page so automatically, the information part will be status uh, or will be ticked with green tick, yeah? which means you have completed the information part. Okay, so I um, hope that you can try it later on. Thank you very much.